Yes, the economy is not in a good place, but I do believe that there are ways to make money with comics right now. And it doesn't matter whether you are a collector or an investor. Generally, you want to see the money you spend go in the upper direction and not in the other direction. And that is what we're going to talk about in this video. Stay tuned for it. Reggie here and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to take some time to talk about how you can actually make money right now in the hobby of comics. And I wanted to create this video partly because I've had a lot of people reach out to me over the last few weeks and months asking whether they should sell their collections now before the comic book market crashes. What I will tell you is that I do not think that that is going to happen. What we are seeing right now is nothing more than the larger economy having an impact on the hobby. That is what we are seeing. When the economy is doing good and people have jobs, they have lots of disposable income and they feel like they can spend that money on comics and collectibles and other things that are purchased with discretionary funds. But when the economy is bad, people tend to hold on to the money they have. If they've lost their job, they tend to hold on to the money that they have. And as a result of that, things that are purchased with discretionary funds tend to take a little bit of a dip. It is a natural thing that happens and it happens over and over and over again in our economy. Not necessarily a crash, but certainly not a boom, if you will. Now, with that said, I don't believe that this will last forever. It might last for a year, might last for two years, but I do not believe that it will last forever. So to that point, do not sell your comics. Wait it out. If you need the money because you've lost your job or you have some kind of expense, I would definitely encourage you to dump your comics. But if you don't have to sell, if you don't need the money, save it. Save the collection until things get better because as I mentioned, things will turn around. Generally, a bear market, which is a bad market, does not last as long as a bull market, a good market, because it's all cyclical. So things will turn around, but you have to be willing to actually wait it out. And if you can do that, what you will find is that the value of your comics will actually go back up. Will they reach the levels that we saw in 2020 and 2021? I have no clue. But if you had asked me in 2018 whether we would have seen those numbers in 2020 and 2021, I would have told you no. No one knows what the future holds. But if you hold your book, you will potentially find out what the future holds. So don't sell. The second thing that I want to talk about is that you should potentially be buying right now. There are bargains to be had, and it doesn't matter whether you're talking about key comics or collections, raw books or graded, there are bargains to be had. As a result of the economy being in a bad place, there is less money flowing into the hobby, which means less competition, which means prices are not going up. That means that you can actually pick up some really awesome books at lower prices, lower than what we saw in 2020 and in 2021. And as I mentioned, over time, the value of these books will go back up. And so if you buy now, you reap the benefits later on. Another thing that you might want to consider is diversification of your funds. And what I mean by that is that the market is definitely down right now. There is no doubt about it. And so potentially, if you have money set aside for the purpose of investing in comics, maybe you don't put all of that money back into comics right now. Maybe you find alternative things to invest in. And there are lots of ways to do that. You can invest in stocks and bonds and mutual funds and in gold. You can absolutely do that. But you can also look at NFTs. There's a lot of uncertainty about NFTs, but there's also a lot of people that absolutely believe in them. And so that is something that should not be ignored. You also can take comic money and direct it towards original art. Original art moves in a different way than comics. In addition to that, not all comics move the same. Modern comics may be taking a massive hit right now, but Golden Age and Silver Age books have taken less of a hit. And so maybe your diversification strategy requires you to shift money from modern comics to golden age comics or to silver age or to NFTs. 
It's something that you want to consider, but by continuing to invest in the hobby again, you will reap those benefits later on when things start to turn back around. Without a doubt, one of the best ways to make money from comics right now is to invest into blue chip comics. And I think everybody knows what blue chip comics are, but it is those books that have first appearances of really popular characters. Popular characters that people widely recognize. So Amazing Fantasy 15, Amazing Spider-Man 1, Fantastic Four number 1, Daredevil number 1, Superman number 1, Batman number 1. It is those books that people salivate over. These books have historically had value. And at present, many of these books have seen declines in their value. But because they have a massive fan base, because they have historical performance, rest assured that these books will rebound into the future as they continue to age, as the economy improves, these books will absolutely recover. And so these are certainly some safe bets. Yes, you can speculate on less popular characters and some unknown characters, but there's a little bit more risk involved with that versus going after a blue chip comic or two. As I said earlier in this video, I firmly believe in the future of comics. I believe in them as a source of entertainment, and I also believe in them as a source of investment. I believe that this hobby and that comics are here to stay, and I know for a fact that as this economy recovers, the values of comics will also recover. It is those people that can make the investment now that will reap the benefits later. With that said, we're going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I certainly want to encourage you to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your local community. And if you need to reach out to me for whatever reason, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. Rapper, rolling, 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 rolling.